we have Simon Grocott, who are who is from SFL. He will explain about Space Flight Laboratory. Okay, the Space Flight Lab, at, uh, based at the University of Toronto, is uh, a, a specialist lab where we develop uh, space technology, particularly uh, commercial off the space, uh, off the shelf space technology, uh, building small satellites using what we call the microspace approach. And uh, we have about 16 satellites on orbit right now that we've built with our, since our first launch in 2003 with MOST, which was uh, Canada's first space telescope, in fact, uh, a small 15-centimeter uh, aperture telescope, which was used to uh, conduct uh, photometric tests on, uh, on solar-type stars. Uh, it was our first entry into, uh, into space. And now we've got 16 satellites doing so, things from AIS satellite AIS uh, detection for uh, maritime surveillance, uh, Earth observation satellites, uh, aerosol monitoring, uh, some uh, R&D uh, doing uh, like our Pan Panx 4 and 5 satellites, which. Uh, are designed to test out uh, formation flying technology for uh, for spacecraft, and all of these are uh, designed really to lower the barrier to entry for uh, for customers. For new entrants and trends also. That's right. Okay. Which is the latest satellite which has been built by SFL? The, the latest satellite to launch is uh, Claire, which is uh, GHG Sat D. The GHG sat uh, stands for uh, Greenhouse Gas Monitoring Satellite. This is a, a, a satellite that we've built with uh, GHG Sat Inc., a Canadian company that is designed to monitor uh, greenhouse gas emissions for regulatory purposes. Okay, thank you very much, Simon. All right, you're welcome.